Hello, good evening, good afternoon, good morning, wherever you're watching this. It is Istral from Yellow Card Vanguard and we're bringing back Yellow Card Combos. So as you can tell from the thumbnail, today we're going to be looking at Gear Chronicle and Extra Turns, specifically a lot of them. So I just want to preface this by saying this is not a combo that I came up with. I want to give credit and shout out to Chang on Discord, he's the guy who came up with this originally. But I will say, this is actually a combo that's been around for a while. And it's not really of a combo really, it's more of a line of play. It's been around, It's been possible ever since the original Gear Chronicle set first came out. I think no one's just ever really figured out that it was a possibility until you know, people took a better look at the rules and figured out, hey, we can do this from some ruling questions that came up. So you may have heard the term floating around some Facebook groups or you know some circles of people. So today we're going to be looking at the double mystery flare extra turn. Let's get into it. So the combo itself doesn't actually require anything special, it requires a little bit of setup, you know, you need to get to the 19 bind for Mystery Flare anyway, and there is a specific line of play you need to to get there over two turns. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to go through it all step by step, very slowly, and explain what we're doing, why we're doing it, and how we're allowed to do it, which is very important. So I'm using the English cards, most of them from set 1, just to show you that it actually has been possible for the longest time. Of course, when the, with the new things, you'll probably be playing Chronager Engine, there's more support to make the deck more consistent, and you actually get to survive long enough to reach the 19 bind and the two turns you need to do it. So the important thing is, we're going to be striding twice in one turn. That's the crux of how we set up. So as you can see, let's zoom into the Lost Legend. And the wording of him is the same as the wording of all the other striders from uh, V Gear Chronicle. You basically discard a grade 3 or higher, deck search for a grade 4, Ride at a stand, shuffle your deck, and then at the end of turn, retire that unit and ride a grade 3 from Solar's Rest. Now the important thing is the term, at the end of this turn. So what this does is, it sets up something that we call a delayed trigger. So the ability itself is completely resolved, but then at the beginning of the end phase, it fires up another effect. Not an actual skill with like an auto or an act or whatever, but you can imagine it like an auto that's tied to whatever the effect is. So in this case, we're going to use them once and tw or twice in actually in the first turn, and then we're going to see how that resolves. Now, when you say use it twice, the reason we can do that is because your deck is a closed zone. So when it says search your deck for a grade 4 card, you can actually fail to find. You can choose not to ride grade 4, because as far as your opponent knows, you might not have any more grade 4s left in the deck. They're not allowed to check, and sure, you can be like, Judge, I'm sure he has a grade 4 in there somewhere, but it is a legal line of play to fail to find. So what we're going to do is, we're going to zoom out and then discard our first strider to try and use Lost Legends effect. So we're going to search our deck, and as you can see it's very well stacked, and there are a few grade 4s in there, but our opponent doesn't know that. So we're going to tell the opponent, I'm not going to ride a grade 4 because there are no grade 4s in my deck, and then we're going to shuffle. So even though we didn't ride, the ability still resolved, so we still set up the delayed trigger to retire of that unit and rewrite at the end of time. But of course, there is no that unit, but we'll jump that hole when we get there. So now we're going to stride again, this time actually searching for the grade 4, I'm actually riding it. Hey look at that, Mystery Flare Dragon. Now it's very important you actually have to stride Mystery Flare the first time, because you want to get into the soul, and the way we're going to do that, I'll explain later. So Mystery Flare comes into play and its effects will happen, you can attack your opponent, do whatever. Now. At the end phase, this is where things get interesting. So, as you may recall, we've used Lost Legend twice this turn. So at the beginning of the end phase, it's going to set up the delayed trigger twice. Each one is going to happen, and they have to happen eventually. So what we're going to do is we're going to resolve the first one first. So at the end of this turn, retire that unit and ride a grade 3 from your Solar's Rest. But that unit doesn't exist, right? We never actually rode. Now, as we all know, in Vanguard, we do as much as we can. So even though you can't retire that unit because that unit doesn't exist, we still ride a grade 3 from Solar's Rest, specifically this Lost Legend that we rode over. So this rides over the Mystery Flare, pushing that into the Soul. Now at this point, the first Lost Legend has now completely resolved, delayed, trigger and all. The second one's delayed trigger now goes off. So at the end of that turn, retire that unit, but again, that unit doesn't exist anymore because we just rode over it, so it's now on the Soul. And then ride a grade 3 from your Solar's Rest. Now of course, we don't have another grade 3 in soul, so that's it, nothing happens. Now if you've managed to luckily soul charge a grade 3 somehow, good for you, no problem. And in fact, if you've managed to luckily soul charge the Mystery Flare Dragon altogether, then you can just skip this step completely. The reason we do this double stride 
is to get the Mystery Flare Dragon into Soul as easily as possible. So, that's the first stage, the setting up. Now we need to survive our opponent's turn back, and then get to 19 bind. So, you know, let's fast forward a bit. I'm just going to pretend it's not happening, just to really cut to the chase. So we start our next turn, and draw for turn. Oh, look at that, it's a heal trigger, what a surprise. So, at this point, we have a Mystery Flare Dragon in the Soul, and as you can see, we have 19 bind, because we're an amazing player and we got very lucky. Now comes the interesting part. So we're going to stride again, this time just searching for the Mystery Flare straight away. We don't need to do any more double stride shenanigans. So, Mystery Flare comes down, its effects start, and you'll notice that Mystery Flare Dragon itself also sets up a delayed trigger, because the effect happens when it's placed, but resolves at the end of turn. So, Mystery Flare comes down, we attack, we do whatever we want, but there is one thing we need to do first, which is, remember, Lost Legends Delay Trigger is going to try and ride a Grade 3 from our soul as rest. We need to stop that. So we're going to drop down this Quickie Quickie Worker to bottom deck card. Realistically, you'd bottom deck a Grade 3 because you want a Soul Blast. I just didn't prepare a Grade 3 because I'm lazy. So let's pretend that was a Grade 3 and Soul Blast 2. So we're going to Soul Blast the Grade 3, which is the only Grade 3 in our soul, and then any other card. It's important that we don't Soul Blast the other Mystery Flare Dragon. So, we'll then proceed with the attack phase, do whatever we want to do, you know, drive check three times, look at that, triple heal, amazing. And now we get to the end phase, and this is where the interesting things happen, okay? So, the Lost Legends Delay Trigger will try to resolve, retire that unit, and ride a Grade 3 from the soul. So, we try and do that, so we retire our Vanguard, and ride a Grade 3 from the soul. But there is no Grade 3 in the soul. So we re-ride the Mystery Flare Dragon that was in our soul, as per the comprehensive rules, when you don't have a Vanguard, you ride from Soul. Because even though we couldn't ride the Grave from Soul, the ability technically resolved, and we enter a rule timing where we have no Vanguard. Thus, we can ride wherever we want from the Soul, which rides the Mystery Flare Dragon. So when we ride him in the end phase, the plus one drive and the plus one crit does kind of go to waste, but however, because of the end phase rulings, and specifically, you know, all the timings resolved regarding the end phase, the at the end of this turn delayed trigger of the second Mystery Flare will go on standby again. Which means that we've resolved the end of turn effect of Mystery Flare Dragon twice, so we get two extra turns in a row. That's pretty much the combo. I hope the explanation was relatively easy to understand. I know it sounds really counterintuitive at first, oh you just stride skill and then fail to stride the first time to set it up. But when you think about how it works, you know, having the Mystery Flare Dragon in the soul and then soul blasting all your grade 3s, you can kind of see, you know, the end phase rulings and all it coming together. So that's been the showcase. Once again, a shout out, thank you to Chang for bringing this to our attention. And uh, who knows, maybe if you guys try hard enough, you'll pull this off yourselves. Uh, there is actually a video coming up soon of myself and the rest of Team Strictly Broken messing around with this deck. So keep an eye out for that coming soon. I've been Zistral with Yellow Card Vanguard. And thank you for tuning in. See you around.